Hello. In this video, I will be doing a comparison between the TI Inspire CX2 and the TI Inspire CX2 CAS models from Texas Instruments. To begin, I have side by side the TI Inspire CX2 and the TI Inspire CX2 CAS. They have the exact same layout of all the buttons on their keypad. Even their home screens mirror one another. The only difference is that the CAS model will tell you that you are using a CAS operating system right there on the home screen. CAS stands for Computer Algebra System, meaning that the TI Inspire CX2 CAS will have much more functionality than the TI Inspire CX2. It is extremely important that if you are purchasing a graphing calculator to be used on a high stakes exam that you know if your calculator is acceptable for that exam. The TI Inspire CX2 graphing calculator is accepted on the SAT, AP, PSAT, ACT, and IB exam. The TI Inspire CX2 CAS graphing calculator has acceptance on all of these exams except for ACT. So if your students take the ACT exam, you might be better off with the TI Inspire CX2 graphing calculator. For all of your local exams, you should know the functionality of both of the models so you can select which model best suits your needs. Something I must say up front in this video as well is that the TI Inspire CX2 CAS has a testing mode which turns off CAS functionality. There's even a functionality within the test mode to turn off CAS features but leave on exact arithmetic features. I will cover that in this video. I will now do a comparison between the TI Inspire CX2 and the TI Inspire CX2 CAS in functionality. First, I'll take a look at the TI Inspire CX2 CAS. I'll select number one for new document, and I'll select number one for add calculator. I will begin by going to the menu key, and I'll select number three, algebra. And I can see here that my list of options goes beyond what's listed on the page. I can scroll down and see that there are more options to choose from. I'll select expand from this menu and press enter. I will then type in the binomial x plus 3 close parentheses raised to the fifth power. When I press enter, I can see my result has an algebraic response. There are terms in here with variables. This is a CAS functionality. I'll go back to menu, back to number three, algebra, and factoring is a big deal in algebra and algebra two. So if I select factor, and I typed in x squared minus 5x minus 6, and I needed to factor this, I could press enter, and I see the results are factors of x minus 6 times x plus 1. Again, this result is an algebraic representation. This is a CAS feature. CAS is a computer algebra system, meaning whenever we are teaching students about like terms and non-like terms, we typically bring up apples and oranges. So if I had two apples, and I added to that five apples, And I press enter, because this is a CAS machine, 
it can produce a result of seven apples. But with that same example, if I were to copy and paste, and I were to add three grapes, and press enter, it cannot combine apples and grapes. This is wonderful for teaching the fundamentals of algebra. With great power comes even greater responsibility. So like I said earlier in the video, you have the ability on the new TI Inspire CX2 CAS to turn off CAS functionality. I'll demonstrate it for our purposes now. I'll go home, I'll select number five for settings, and I'll select number two, document settings. And as I scroll down, I see a setting called cast mode. So if I scroll down to cast mode, it is currently on. If I right arrow, exact arithmetic turns off the cast functionality, but leaves on exact arithmetic. Off turns off both the cast functionality and the exact arithmetic functionality. If I keep it at exact arithmetic and then select OK, when I go back to my current document and I go back to menu, when I select number three, notice that much of my menu has been grayed out. Students cannot use any of the CAS features while they're in either exact arithmetic or both exact arithmetic and CAS off setting. Now I know I just demonstrated how to do it on the handheld and a student could change it back to full CAS mode if they wanted to. But when you put these into press to test mode and you turn off CAS or you leave on exact arithmetic, students cannot change the setting during the exam. So the question comes up, what is exact arithmetic? Exact arithmetic examples could be the square root of 8. When I press enter, I see the result of 2 radical 2. I could also go into my trig feature, select sine 45, and put in the degree symbol. When I press enter, I see radical 2 over 2. These are examples of exact arithmetic. These might be acceptable for your high stakes exams, but not CAS functionality. The TI Inspire CX2 CAS offers you to have this functionality and turn off CAS. I'll go back to my home screen, back to number five settings and document settings, and I'll change it to CAS mode off. When I select cast mode off and select OK and go back to my current document, now I can't perform any exact arithmetic or any cast functionality. This makes the TI Inspire CX2 cast function exactly like the TI Inspire CX2. Any CAS or exact arithmetic functionality has now been turned off. So if I were to go into my templates, I can see that the limit feature, the indefinite integral, and derivative feature for the CAS calculator have all been turned off. I'll close this menu, go back to home, change the settings once more, document settings, scroll on down to CAS mode, and turn it back on. I'll select OK, and now I'll select a graphing page. I'll enter in the trig function sine x. When I press enter, I see the graph of f1 of x equals sine x. But the scale really doesn't make much sense to go from 1 to 10. Using menu, 
and selecting number four, window zoom, and changing it to zoom trig, I now see that it goes from zero to two pi, and that pi is represented in terms of pi. I can double click on my 0.5 for my X scale, clear that out, and use pi over four, and when I press enter, it updates my graph, and each of these increments will be pi over four. To have it in terms of pi on the graphing screen, this is a CAS feature. So this is not something that the numeric model will be able to represent in terms of pi. Switching gears to the TI Inspire CX2, this model will not perform any symbolic manipulation and it will not give exact arithmetic. So when I select number one for new document and number one for add calculator, going to menu and then choosing number three algebra, I only see three items listed in this menu. The TI Inspire CX2 is numeric. It will not perform any cast functionality. It will not give an exact arithmetic output. It will have the exact same templates as the CAS model. So the limits, indefinite integrals, and derivatives that I saw on the previous model are here too. But when I go to perform one of these features, such as a limit, as x approaches 1 for the function x raised to the second power, when I go to enter that, it tells me that this is an unsupported function, that this function requires a computer algebra system. Try the TI Inspire CAS model. In a nutshell, the TI Inspire CX2 CAS model does everything the TI Inspire CX2 model does and then some. But the new model allows you to turn off all the extra functionality to make it into the TI Inspire CX2. It is very important when purchasing your graphing calculator to make sure it's the right one. So if you visit education.ti.com and click on where to buy, please visit contact a consultant. Here you will see a list of all of the US and Canada educational technology consultants. We would be more than willing to do a side-by-side -side comparison with you so that you make the right choice for your classroom solutions.